Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Jay Spaulding. Just want to give you a update of my tank. Um, all the guys that I did get from Southeast Cichlids did lose a lot of color. I'm going to get right to the point and tell you guys. Um, I'm not unhappy with them. I'm just kind of bummed that they did lose a lot of color. Um, I did post something on uh, Instagram saying that I thought they were juiced. I did take it down, but I really don't think they are. It's just a matter of dominance in entering a new tank with completely different species. I'm assuming that when I bought the fish, um, each species are in their own, you know, they're their own tank. They're not mixed like this. So they're all, you know, trying to get used to one another, take the dominance role, um, and follow suit. The one that runs the tank and down, you know. But, uh... Everybody's still doing good. I locked up my Borlei for a few days. I locked up my Dragon Blood for a few days. Um, I can't release my little guy. Yes, I'm gonna say little. He's right here. That is my Autopharynx Black Orange Dorsal. He's really little. I hope he does live. I can't really put him in the tank because everybody chases him. This breeder net's dirty, sorry. I feed flakes to this guy. He doesn't eat anything else except for flakes. I can't get him off him. He nibbles here and there. Tank's dirty, I gotta do a water change. Uh, but he's still alive and swimming. That's what he looks like when he's two and a half inches bought. Everybody's doing good. The dolphins are getting monsters. They grow really quick. They, I mean, everybody says that they grow slow, but mine have grown really good. This is with the uh, current satellite LED pushed all the way to the back. This is how their colors show up when I look at them. I mean, I usually keep my lights in the middle for the most part. Um, if I want to see them super bright right on them, I stick it right all the way to the front. And it makes it show the electric more. Like, look at him. He's just a stunner. It's all different lighting. I'm trying to mess with it to show you the true potential of each fish. Um... Let's see. They all look really good. They're all healthy. That's my little Lawanda. He's just friggin' epic. For a little guy, he holds his color amazing. I'm not gonna lie. There's my Eureka Red. He's been nipped for sure, but he's doing good. His color's looking awesome. He's one of my favorites out of that batch that I got, for sure. He's gonna be epic. Dolphin. I think this one is. I'm not sure which this one is. That one might be the female. I think this one might be the female. The other one. He's bigger. Male. Male down here. I haven't really shown these guys too much. Everybody's beat on somehow, some way. They got a little nip here and there. Intermedius. The Friary, how you pronounce it, he just looks awesome. Love him. That's my other Lawanda. He doesn't really have color on camera, but if I have the right light on him, you can see specks here and there that he, he does have potential to color up. I've had him since the live fish direct order. He hasn't really done a whole lot. He's colored up, you know, just the the dorsal, the 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 stripe on top but that's pretty much standard my red shoulder when he is all crazed out he is extremely blue and looks amazing he just has subpar colors right now my sulfur head hap he gets beat on a lot I've never seen his dorsal fin completely pointed like it should be it's always nipped he takes a lot of beating from the Borlei he gets chased a lot. But his colors stay true. I mean, look at him. For a beat up fish or an attack fish quite a bit, he looks good. This right here is the blue gold. That one lost a ton of color. Still has some. It will come back. I will make it come back. There is the Sunshine Benga. Tons of other names to call these guys, but he just looks epic. Came, that was the first ever peacock I bought. 
I probably mentioned this before in another video, but he has been 100% on fire every day, all day. Takes a beating, comes right back. This one is my Rubescent. I bought that off eBay. Had some color, lost it. There's the bike color right there. He's lost a ton of electricness. His Jay Wilsonness, as I might like to say, because he's got the one on fire. But yeah, everybody's doing good. The tank changes a lot. I move the rocks around all the time just to make aggression, you know, die down when I notice someone's taking over an area. This video is probably pushing six minutes. I'm just rambling on, but that's what it looks like. I got to do a water change, like I said. It's a little dirty. There's some poop back there. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that I was thinking about before I made this video. This thing right here, it's dirty. I know I need to clean it, but it is the Eheim Quick Vac. Run off batteries. Works awesome. You gotta be careful with sand due to sucking it up, but you know how to do it. All you do is hit the button on top, shut it off so the sand just falls back down. The poop will kind of sit there and then hit the button and it'll suck it right back up. You're good to go. Let me move the light forward so you guys can see the other colors as well. Still running this stuff right here. The flakes, veggie wafers, spirulina. I don't use the spirulina too much. This is a Southern Delight small cichlid formula and veggie krill mixed. Ultra red, Thera A, cichlid formula. I know you guys can read, I'm just pointing out. Two aqua clears, they're doing all right. They're dirty on the outside, but I just cleaned them on the inside. They're good to roll. I have my Marine Land on the side. It does fit underneath the stand. It's just a hassle if I want to clean it or anything like that. But this is what I use as well. I imagine this is normal once using and it collects poop. These tubes change color. They got in black and they get like, you know, bacteria and stuff from, I imagine, that's growing back here. Um, inside these tubes. But I've never had an issue, no leakage, nothing like that. It runs great. Got this as well, in case I need to separate someone in the tank as well. I don't have another backup tank, so this is pretty much it, unless I have a breeder net. And also, I use the uh, Mr. Honey to You method. It's only a 7 inch box. I hold these guys down. My Borley, I get pissed when I put them in this thing. My Dragon Blood is pretty much used to being caught. But this is everybody. Light all the way up. Again, I'll do a quick scan through. So you guys can see everybody once more. I believe that's my blue neon. Lost all epicness. But he's going to come back. He's got a little spots of blue. It's alright. I probably have too much blue in my tank. But I love blue. <laughs> but... Big Borley eye. He's changed a lot. I bought him and I thought he was a friggin' rusty. Yeah, right. Poor lighting on the fish tank when I saw him, so I just said, yeah, I'll take that one right there. Threw him in the tank, he hid in the rocks. Turned into that guy back there. He's a douchebag, but he's got awesome coloration. Dragon Blood's hiding up in the corner because of the Borley eye. But when I subdue the Borley eye, he turns into the douchebag of the tank. So, in order to keep at him at bay, the Borley eye stays. By color once again. I bought him for like eight bucks. Fully colored up. At the pet store that I got him at. He's pretty mellow. Alright guys, this video is almost 10 minutes long. I've never made a video this long. I do apologize if you actually dragged out and watched this whole damn thing. But, 
this is it. Enjoy. Hit like, subscribe. Peace out, buddies.